At the end of every month, I like to give a recap on the furniture I picked up and the furniture I refinished. So in this video today, we'll be doing just that for the month of August of 2023. Welcome to the video. My name is Garrett. If you're new to Slate Art Refinishings, I upload a brand new video every Sunday at 7 p.m. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for a new project every Sunday. So I am currently in the Slay Art Refinishing Studios and here I have three dressers lined up that I picked up in the month of August for 2023. This is the newest dresser. It's all wood. It's very nice. The drawers slide in and out nicely. As you can see, I sanded the top here already. It was blue. I'm planning on staining and sealing the top and then painting the rest of the dresser this yellow color and I think it's gonna look pretty great. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do knobs or poles for the dresser drawers so we'll have to see how that turns out. For this dresser I'm planning on painting the whole thing white, staining and sealing the drawers. I already sanded off all the old stain and I love how it turned out. It just has to be sealed now. So these drawers are ready to go for sealer. I did have a couple problems up top top is particle board and there was some water damage so i'm working on repairing the water damaged area which is right here i might have to start from scratch because there's quite a bit of wood filler on the edge here and wood filler is only good for smaller areas and i just want it to be structurally sound if you will so i might have to redo that I'm thinking of a new game plan for that and then for this dresser, it's very, this is a very interesting piece. The paint is very smooth. It's, it's orangish reddish. It's very heavy. Um, it has no dresser feet on the bottom. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do for this, but I definitely do need the dresser feet. As you can see, this one has some feet here and this one just has this part right here for the feet. Not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't know, are these knobs ugly or not? I can't really decide if they are, but the drawers, they're buttery smooth. This is gonna be a nice piece here. All three of these. So I picked this one up for 10 bucks. Found this one back in June, actually. It's been quite the project. Picked this one up off the curb for free, and then I got this one from Facebook for 10 bucks. So this one, this one, 10 bucks from Facebook, this one is from the curb for free. That's one. And then over here, I picked up this dresser earlier this month. I sanded it down probably about two weekends ago and painted it a blue gray color. And I did a custom top here on top. What do you think about this? I'm not sure if I want to add to it or honestly redo it all. I wanted to mimic the dresser that I refinished for my sister about two years ago now. I love the way it turned out and it looks great. I'm not sure about this one. You gotta let me know what you think about it. Right now I have it listed up on Facebook for 200 bucks. I am just gonna see what happens if I have to drop the price within a week or two. It's been up for a week. The paint I used on it is called Beyond Paint. It's a primer, paint, and sealer all mixed into one. I did buy the one gallon jug from Home Depot at the beginning of this year, back in January for 100 bucks. I have flipped a few pieces since then, so that paint cost has been covered for. I got these drawer poles on Amazon in a bulk package. For the paint on top, all of these paint colors came from Home Depot's Miss Paint section. And this is what it cost me right here. If you've ever been to a Home Depot or Lowe's, which I'm sure you have, and you didn't know they had a mess up paint section, there's usually a shelf or a little area paint that people the employees will mix up and the customer will want a different color instead so they heavily discount these at an extraordinary price i mean 50 cents for a pint they have quart size for 250 and a gallon 
between seven and nine dollars and what you see on the shelf at that time is what they currently have and if you want it you better get it it's kind of like marshall's like if you see that clothing item and you want it you better get it because not sure if you'll ever see it again so i have that pink red and then i also have this brown tannish brown color then i also used a white up top and again this one was 50 cents as well but i guess you can't see the price anymore i hope you enjoyed today's video hopefully this piece sells within the next week or two when it does i'll be coming out with a video for this and i'll also be coming out with three future videos on those three dressers out in the slate art refinishing studios if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for a new project every sunday at 7 p.m thank you so much for watching take care and we'll see you next sunday